Homelink 1-7. More cube stacking problems. The cubes in each rectangular prism are the same size. Each prism has at least one stack of cubes that goes to the top. Find the total number of cubes needed to completely fill each prism. Then find the volume of each prism. So, we learned today that highlighted word, volume. And we know volume can either be volume equals length times width times height, or it can be the area of the base, so I'm writing it over this way, volume equals base times height. So let's do one of each sort of together. So number one, if I'm finding my length, I need to find, I'm going to change my color real quick, length, I need to find how many are going to fill right here. So I know I have one, two, then there's a third, four, five. So length is five. So I have five times. Then I have my width. And it's one, two, three, four. Times my height. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So first I'm going to do, because remember order of operations is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And you go in order. So I can start with five times four, which is twenty. So now I can cross those ones off. Then I need to multiply 20 by 7. So, 7 times 0 is 7, and 7 times 2 is 14. So I found the volume, which is 147 units cubed. We know volume is how much can fit inside. So if my volume is 147 units and my units were the cubes, I know that I can have 147 cubes inside. The next one, I'm going to help you out a little bit here because I know it can be difficult to see. So I'm finding this first. So there's one, two, three, four, Five, six. There would be six that goes right here. Now we need to know how many go across. So with my purple, how many are across here? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we need to know how many go to the top. These ones right here. One, two, three, four, five, and there's one tucked away, so it's six. So I have six times six equals 36. So that's my base, right? So my base, 36 times six equals... 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3, 3 times 6 is 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 216 cubic units, so 216 cubes to fill. Number 3 I want you to do on your own. So remember, first you need to find how many go here, so I need to see a number there the red. I need to see how many go along this side, the orange, and then I need to see how many go to the top, the per oops, the per
purple. Now, this cube right here that I'm circling in purple is touching the top. Your practice is, just like we talked about earlier, is order of operations. So, order of operations, parentheses, exponents, which we haven't really gotten into, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So let's look at our first problem. I do, I'm going to mark it in red. I have a parenthesis, so I have to do that first. 14 plus 30 is 44. I don't have any exponents. I'm going to cross it out. But now I can multiply. So 44 times 2 equals 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. Now you have 88. Let's look at number 6 because it's a little different. So again, we're going to, I'm going to erase my E and this line, but I'm going to bring that E back. So I have first my parentheses. I have two sets of parentheses. I have 68 minus 58, and then 8 plus 8 plus 8. I need to do both of those first before I can move on. So I know 68 minus 58 is going to be 10. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 8 more is 24. That's repeated addition, or if I know my multiplication facts, 8 times 3 is 24. Now, there's no exponents. Cross it off. Now I have my multiplication. Here's the multiplication symbol. 10 times 240, or 10 times 24 equals 240. I got ahead of myself. Then do the final one on your own. Remember, parentheses first, then go through the rest.